Hey guys, welcome back to the Vice Squad. Adam Hornberry here. Um, today we're going to type a flat wing variation. Um, this one's an olive and cream with a little peacock curl and, and whatnot. Um, but before we do that, I'd like to thank today's sponsors, which are Anadromus and Fly Life Company. Um, awesome stuff. I'm going to use some of the Anadrama scissors and bobbin today um, in like a blaze orange color. Um, if you have any shopping you like to do, check out fishingandoutdoors.ca Canadian shoppers and fishingandoutdoors.net US shoppers. <clears throat> Before we get started though, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Joe Cordero, um, who has a flat wing book. You can check him out on social media. Um, yeah, that's where I learned to tie the fly and I figure I'd pay it forward and shouting him out because that's where I got the idea from. Um, let's begin. We're going to start with a, a Gamakatsu <coughs> SLS saltwater, um, SLS 12 saltwater size one knot. <coughs> you can tie him bigger, you can tie him smaller. Like I said, check out his book. Thread's going to be a 210 Dan, 210 Danville white, uh, 100 in the air. Um, you can use gel spun too, but this is just better for the flat wing. And then you're going to need <coughs> American Rooster for your uh, for your flat wing. First, we're going to start with a little bit of cream bucktail. This one's a little picked over. But when you're selecting it, you kind of want to go... I like that so <clears throat> so your so your hackle has a support that's about where I want it you want to cut them flush put the bucktail flush I like to give it one two three and then kind of use my thumb to disperse it around the hook not fully but <clears throat> cinch it down clean it up <clears throat> if it's fighting you, <clears throat> just keep on giving it a little bit of that. Excuse me. Just clean that up. Then we're going to um, start with our yellow first, and then we're going to move into an olive. Um, With the flat wing, what I like better <coughs> is, <coughs> personally, I like to do a couple feathers, you know, but then you do flash between them. But let's cut that down. Let's see what we got here. And you want to go concave up for your first feather for this particular flat wing. And you wanna make sure when you set it, you're right on top and don't reef on it. Um, just work it back. Um, and see how that's like starting to spin on me a little bit. Just make sure you have nice securing wraps on that. And by the way, I'm no expert on this fly, so. Just figured I'd switch it up and give you guys another something to kind of play with. And one big thing about, and that's why I'm gonna sit here and do this is because this is like one of the most, I think it's like one of the most important parts of this pattern. Um, if it doesn't set right the first time, take your time, back it off, reset it, because <clears throat> I think this is this is the, you know, this is what helps drive the train essentially. So, it's twisting a little too much for me. <clears throat> and 
and then we're gonna do a couple pieces of uh, flash of boo. I it's not one to go for me. Here we go. Another, um, once you got a good set, another helpful tip, take a little UV, just so it doesn't move on you in the process and hit it with that. Um, I saw that gal, Rita Force, or something, I believe her name is, but she's she ties amazing flat wings. Um, another person I get inspiration from for this particular pattern. She does a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool bait fish patterns and, and whatnot. Now we're gonna do two pieces of flash. We're gonna tie them in kind of like a V kind of deal. Then we're gonna move into some olive American rooster. There's there's specific capes I think for this, but what I'm gonna do is I selected two. I'm gonna do the shorter one first. Peel off the fluff. I do like to keep a little bit of fluff on it. You can see, and then I will. I like to let it extend just a little bit further out. And I like to do light touching wraps and then slowly work that way back. It's a pretty good set right there. And then a lot of, I think it's two pieces of flash in between each feathers from what I remember. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if not, that's okay because we're fishing these for fresh water and it doesn't really matter anyway. I don't think the fish are gonna mind. We're gonna do some crystal flash in the end too, a little peacock curl. So it's, it's gonna be quite flashy. We're gonna do a little diamond, flat diamond braid, I believe. Diamond braid, yep. We're gonna do some of that as the body towards uh, towards the front too. So and our next feather. I like to make this one a little longer for me personally. It's your fly though. Do whatever you want. I do recommend getting some some better um, saddles though for this particular pattern. Um, they sell a, a flat wing saddle, I believe, from UV or something like that. Um, clean that up, give it a nice clean situation. Um, I'm gonna do a stack of bucktail right here. Um, <clears throat> this is a uh, sculpin olive. Bucktail, and I like to go, I like them to be a little wavy for this pattern. And I like to tie them, not dense, but not super sparse either. And then clean up, get you a nice little selection, clean out your bucktail as always. You want about that. And then I like to drape them over like that, about halfway back maybe or so. Clean up the butts there. Give it free-ish wraps around the hook with your finger there. Then we're gonna clean that up. There we go. You don't want it to splay too much, but a little bit's not bad. Then we're gonna shoot, uh, get some a little bit more of the cream cream bucktail, put that in there too. This particular pattern. Really good for the salt, that's why I tied it on the salt water hook because um, 
it can it can do both, especially in this color in this color. Um, a lot of guys will do like a like a mackerel version or a sandy old kind of deal up here in New England. Um, kind of up to you. Tie it for whatever forage you're trying to match. You got a lot of fresh water, you're doing um, perch, tie a perch. Do a yellow. Um, do a yellow with this olive and lose the cream. And then do a little, maybe a little hot spot of orange up here with additional bucktail. You know, there's a bunch of different variations. I'll show you a couple at the end here too. But there's a bunch of different variations that you can do, so. Make it your own, you know? Um, <clears throat> the crystal flash I'm going to use is the gray ghost. I just wanted to give it a little different than the other ones I've been doing and mix it up. But use whatever crystal flash you have on hand. A UV pearl will do just fine for this. I like to do three, three of these. And then, because we're gonna double them over. So it'll be six once it's doubled over. And then since you got that taper going, clean that up a little bit. And then we're gonna tie in some of this uh, diamond braid. There's another one they have. Um, this is what I have on hand for tying um, zoo cougars. So this is what I'm using, but use whatever you want or skip it. I tied some and I didn't use this braid for the body. I just wanted to add this in so you guys could have an option. And I'm kind of mixing it up anyway, because this isn't exactly like, you know, like I said, I'm not the master of of the flat wing. I just thought it'd be cool to mix it up for you guys and do a new pattern. Give it, I don't know, seven or so wraps, five wraps, whatever you feel comfortable with. Basically you want to stop it about a, um, a hook eye back or so, because we're going to add I like to add three strands of the peacock curl. And I do like to have them long. So I like to, you don't have to make them match if you don't want to, but I like to, I like consistency. So, you know, something like that is what I'm looking for, to be honest. I'm gonna do this one longer. So it drapes back like that. But it's your fly again, so do what you want. And again, this is the peacock curl. You know, use whichever one you want. There's one that um, some fly shops sell that's like specifically long for doing flat wings or, you know, different pattern, streamer patterns and whatnot. You could always get that. <laughs> I like to tie back just a little bit to give it a nice cinch. And we're gonna finish this off with another stack of bucktail and then build a cone head with the uh, thread and throw some jungle cock on. We'll talk eyes in a second too. Let me just clean that up. Get that out of the way. Kick that out of the way. Now we're gonna do a small stack of the uh, bucktail and olive. And I'm going up up here at the front for that particular area. Um, I just like it a little wavier for the front, kind of like a clouser. And again, you want it to kind of, I don't like it to go straight on it. I like, I like my flies to have a little taper with the bucktail. So about like that. And then clean them up, clean the butts up. And I like to angle them. Give it three. Just give it a little shimmy around the hook just a little bit so it kind of goes around there. And then work it forward with my fingers so you can actually see that. Now I like to clean that up, work it back up for the cream. 
I like to give it a little tug too, because sometimes if you don't set it hard enough, you'll lose some bucktail fibers. And again, right toward the tip of the, uh, the bucktail up in here. Get you another little selection of that. Clean it up. Get those uh, stray fibers out of there, whatever that is. This is a super clean pattern though, it's super fishy. I love this pattern. Get the, clean up the butt, uh, the butt area there. Work that forward. Nice, nice tension on there. If you're using the 210 or the gel spun, you know, don't be, don't be scared. Preen those back, watch your finger around that hook. You really want to clean that up. Work it back. Now this is where we're going to put our eyes. I'm using Jungle Cock Cape. You could sub that out because Jungle Cock's expensive. Um, with this Jungle Cock HD from uh, Pro Sport Fisher, they have this. Now they have a um, an actual cape now, but it's like this where it's like printed or whatever. But these plastic ones will do just fine. Um, <clears throat> because I'm probably gonna sell these, I kind of prefer the real thing. So select two nice eyes or or use your uh, um, your imitation jungle cock just so that for the purpose of the video though I'm obviously like I said I want to do a real one um, get you two nice eyes let me bring these fibers a little bit clean it up Give it a couple wraps. And we're gonna use, uh, you can use some of this UV clear, or you could use bone dry from Solarez, which is what I'm actually gonna use for this. I like the way it gives the head there. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit though. Whip finish. Just about done. Now, <clears throat> I have, this is a cauterizing tool. If you have any bucktail that peeks out there, be careful when you do this though. Just trim that back. I just like it to look super clean, especially if you end up selling them or, you know, want to fish them or give them away or whatever. Um, you want it to look clean. Um, obviously the fish won't care if that's peeking out, but Practice your craft. Um, I think a clean a clean fly gives confidence at the end of the day. Those ugly ones that you end up messing up or whatever, you're not gonna fish those as much as the ones you take your time and do good with. So take your time, you know, tie it right, have fun with it, but also like keep in mind, you know, you're gonna you're gonna fish the one that looks pretty at the end of the day and it'll probably fish better for you too to be honest if the feathers are set right everything's looking good your 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 wing there what drives the trains helping it swim you got that nice peacock curl for a lateral line kind of thing you got a little crystal flash in there you know and then when you turn off the light check that out you know that's just gleaming in there so yeah, guys, like I said, awesome pattern. Check out Joe's book. Um, thanks again to our sponsors. 
uh, Anadromus and uh, Fly Life Company. And uh, yeah, um, check out the links for, for shopping and whatnot. And hope the holidays were great for everybody. If you have any questions, uh, hit us up. Um, one thing I'd like to see is if you tie it up, tag us in the pattern so we can kind of see uh, see your guys' work and see how things are going. But yeah, if you have any questions, drop a comment. Um, make sure to like the video. And thank you for your support. Have a good one.